I, I, because, you know, I like to have my spiritual uh, time with a lot of fun, you know? Yeah. And a lot of joy and a lot of celebration and a lot of home feeling. My intention is to, uh, to serve you all. I'm here at your full service. So this is a combination of intention and surrender. So tell me an intention you have. My intention is uh, around connection. The oneness of the earth and the people. Connecting with the land, uh, with the people and everyone here. Be transformed by it and bring it home. I want to let go of the past that I no longer need to carry around and lighten my load a brick or two. Not to miss a thing, to enjoy it all. My intention for Peru is to go deep into myself and to expand into everything. To soak it in and really, really enjoy it and really feel it all. To spend the time with my family. <laughs> but to connect deeper with myself as well. Sometimes we'll need intention to go, hey, let's move forward. My intention for Peru is to actually surrender to her. Sometimes we need to just relax and let surrender happen. And giving and receiving love. Live in the now. My intention for Peru is to have greater clarity on my path. The Warrior Sage teachings that we practice with um, opening and surrender and clarity of purpose. It's not just up to grace, it's up to you and your connection to the Great Spirit. That this is actually a sacred place that we are coming to where we can truly embody all of these teachings and that we have this gift of coming together as one family to truly embody it and then take it with us in our lives. My intention for Peru is to be my best self for me and for everyone else here. Oh. Oh. So those are the two qualities we're going to cultivate. Intention, what's the first one? Intention. And the other one is? Because you need both. I also want to have a heck of a great time. What is that? I just want to breathe in. I grew up very non-religious. I don't believe in, you know, the one and only God Almighty. And the, But there's always growing up. I've been spiritual, but it's always been something missing inside. And as soon as you mentioned the trip to Peru, I knew that that's where what's missing inside is at. So. I, need to, I needed to come here to find what's been missing all my life. Yourself. Your feet rooted to the earth. We're beginning this sacred journey in this very special spot. Feel your body sinking into the earth. Feel the love connection between your body and the sacred place. The sacredness rising up into your body your essence rising down and coming into communion. And as you breathe in, it's yes. The feeling is yes. Yes to life. And as you exhale, you let go of whatever is no longer serving you. Just, I let go. You may not even know what you're letting go. It's just the intention of letting go of what you no longer need. So we have the 
these three beings, the condor, the puma, and the serpent, the serpent being the inner world, the mind, the consciousness, the condor being the, the world of the spirit, and the puma representing this physical body. Tell me what your intent is. The idea is, be aware of your intent. Be intentful about your intent, or else, guess what? You're going to be intending anyways, are you not? Yes. <laughs> You're going to intend anyways. You grab your own intent. Okay, oh. oh. My grandfather used to tell me something. He used to say, Puma, are you moving your tail, or is your tail moving you? <laughs> the only thing that moves us beyond the mammals is we have a particular gift, and that's our gift of intent. Through levels of consciousness, we're always interconnected. We have always been, and we will always do that. Your intent is your rudder in the ocean of life. It means that there is a powerful strength within you, which is the power of will. A warrior sage who loses his intent, or her intent, loses their direction in life. They're moved by the wind. So what is your intent? When it's fully awakened, you have the power to bring change to the whole planet. But that's my constant intent. The puma of the south has the tail straight up, back legs, the body, hugging Mother Earth. Meaning the people in the south are always protecting, guarding Pachamama, taking care of our planet, taking care of Mother Earth through ceremony, through agriculture, through our life. My intent is to disappear in my serving. So you close your eyes and you breathe in. There was a community once that used to have many, many problems. And um, there was uh, the mountains were to be the guardians of these communities. So we call them Apus, the mountain spirits. Apus de mi tierra. And because there were too many problems in this community and a lot of conflict and all of that, between the mountains they talked one day and they said, we have to send somebody to take care of all these problems and we need to re-learn them to work the land again and to work together and for reciprocity to come back and all that. And um, so they sent this young, powerful, powerful medicine man just with his will. He could change situations just with a touch. He could heal people just with his will. He could do anything. And so he became a very powerful leader. The, the conflicts, the difficulties, the problems of the community disappeared. And uh, there was a new life for this community. So finally this medicine man started becoming an elder and it was time for him to leave from the community. So he said, I want the council of elders to choose two leaders to come to the mountaintop there will be a cave there. In that cave, I'm going to leave something for the community. And uh, everybody in the community was like, yes. So they chose the most you know, strong warriors of their community to journey to the mountain of this, to the top of this mountain. And so some of the community members even joined them some ways, but only the two of them were supposed to arrive to the top. When they arrived, out of this cave comes flying this big condor. And uh, when they entered into the cave, there was this stone that was beating like a heart. It was the heart of the condor that was left in this cave for this community. And what we learned only in myths, and what we learned only in stories, Little did we know was actually pure history because in this place we have the heart of the condor awaiting for us. That is why we are here. The condor in the Andes represent the divine 
connection to God. So is the direct representant of the Andean spirituality. If we receive the heart of the condor, we're set for life. So the heart is always open, always. But we have subtle contractures that are covering the heart. You can never have a closed heart. You can only have closure over your heart. The nature of the heart is always in eternal receiving and always in inter eternal offering. As our brothers were sharing, it's about generosity, giving without expectation, receiving without subtle contracts. That's, they're not our guides. They're our family. <laughs> and I met them, and when I met them, it was immediate. You know, every time I had the blessing of somehow drawing to us and drawing to each other, the people that match the frequency, the vibration, the heart, the joy, the, uh, the ecstasy of what we're all about. And so immediately we knew the meeting was done. All right. So the fact that we get to see each other in this lifetime like this and enjoy this space, they're going to be our sharers to share their profound wisdom. So let's give them a big warrior sage welcome. Go ahead. Firstly, welcome to Cusco. I mean, what an honor for us to receive our family from the north and fulfill or continue fulfilling the prophecy of the condor and the eagle flying together. So let's rock and roll. Yes. <laughs>